welcome back to another of our cast challenges for October. Today is the 24th, so it is, of course, a sim we're going to It is, oh my goodness gracious. We're making a sim inspired by the word dig. That's what we're doing. Uh, at first I wanted to go with archaeology, and I remembered I'd already made a sim as an archaeologist, so then I was like, really the only thing that popped in my head was, can you dig it? But then I was thinking about the latest... Uh, season of Stranger Things where they were playing Dig Dug and that's what inspired me. So we are going to be making a little gamer kid who's into retro games. Not kid, but you know what I mean. Someone who definitely appreciates that kind of Atari type aesthetic. I certainly do. Ooh, those are really realistic. Also, the original Sims spawned with freckles, so I really want to give him freckles. Alright, um, I've been doing a lot of the tilty eyes lately. I mean, the, the sad puppy eyes, so I'm trying to not do sad puppy eyes. Let's go with big nose. I haven't done a big nose sim in a hot minute. Oh, little mouth. Oh my god, he's adorable. Oh my god. And the ears, the sticky out of ears, so cute. I want them to have a little bit more. Yes, giant ears. Giant ears. That's that's what we're here for. Giant ears. Ugh. Let's see. I love these whisper eyes, but they're just a touch too big. That's okay, because I can fix that. Wait, where's that new slider that I've discovered? How do I zoom out? Ah! Okay. That one. So happy about that one. You don't even know. Detail edit mode. Kind of like the broken nose. I'm kind of enjoying that. And this teeny little rosebud mouth. So cute. So, so cute. I just, I do. I like the broken nose. I think it looks good. Okay, the mouth is a little bit small. This face is kind of unbalanced, isn't it? That's a little better. Oh, whoa. <gasps> he could be short. How do I get him back up there? Or he could be tall. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I can't do the little mouth. The little mouth is just... It's not working. The pouty mouth works. Those ears. I need to make him a little bit smaller. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! He's adorable. Alright, first things first. Eyelashes. I swear I don't even use these other ones because they're so ridiculous, but we can use these. I mean, they're cool, but they're just, they're like, they're a lot. Like full body freckles? Oh, I do. There we go. That's body and face. He's so freckly. Oh, so cute. Can I put a skin on him though without ruining it? I can. Is that okay? Let's do that one because I don't want to push my luck. Give him a little bit of crooked teeth. I want to give him long hair. Do we want him to be a brunette? Or do we want to give him some fun hair? We haven't done fun hair yet. What about green hair? Just have some ridiculously long green hair. 
he like keeps up in a bun. No. What do we got for updos? Takeaway masculine. Come on, game. There you go. I love this hair. This hair we used on that the last not the last sim, on the twenty first when we made sleep. really stuck on the idea that he has long hair now. What about something like that? That looks kind of like a dude hair. I think that could definitely pass for guy's hair. Alright, I think I want him to be a bit of a skinny mini. Just a little bit. A little string bean child. I mean, he's not a child, but he could be. I don't know if I've used the tie-dye yet, but I really want to. Is it too much with the hair, though? I think that one's not. Oh, God, and then overalls? <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Oh, my God, yes. That was super duper quick, but I don't even care because then he can have his little overalls. They're hanging down, and then sometimes he can pull them up with his little. Oh my gosh. So cute. I want him to have some glasses. If my game wants to cooperate. He just looks like he suits glasses. Kind of like those sunglasses, though, like on the top of his head. Kind of a vibe. Not those. Oh, those are cute. I like those. He's gonna have those. That's all there's to it. He's like a gamer, but I think. He's gonna like gardening as well. He's a little bit of a hippie kid. He needs some hippie sandals, naturally. And I think he's just super chill. He's not one of those gamers that like freaks out. He's just super mellow. He's Damien Edmonds. All right, so I don't think like professional gamer is. So let's let's give him flower arranging. So he's a gamer, but he also does flower arranging. There's the there's the nerd trait. Oh, there it is. What else? I feel like he'd be a bit non-committal. Not just for like life, but like or not like relationships, but also like jobs and things like that. I think he's just very chill. Let's give him loves outdoors. So he's a geek who's non-committal and loves the outdoors, and he wants to be a master flower arranger person. So yeah, this is our Damien Edmonds. He's super cute. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but all of the sims that I've made so far are in the gallery. Like, I can go ahead and show you my uh, name is down below. It's Queen, Queen of Malkier. But all of the sims that I've made are in the gallery. I have made sure of that. These are also oddly island sims, but let's disregard that. Just pay attention to the sims we've made. 
So Slate is in there. Our lovely Thirst Trap. Kyoto. Coral. Everybody's in there. And I add them every day. So today I will be adding Damien. And you'll be able to download them. If you guys ever use them in your games, definitely let me know. You can tag me. You can message me on Tumblr. Like, don't be afraid to be like, hey, I use your sim. Come check it out. Because I will. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you know, you subscribing and commenting and just interacting with me. It's really awesome. I love being able to talk sims with people. And I'll see you in the next one.